Travis Kelsey celebrated his 35th birthday with a large group of close friends and family. After hosting his annual Kelsey Car Jam earlier in the day, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end celebrated his birthday on Saturday, October 5th, in Kansas City, Missouri. Following his performance at the historic Midland Theater, comedian Zach Townsend posted Instagram photos of himself posing with the NFL star, his brother Jason Kelsey, and Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Kelsey is seen wrapping an arm around Townsend in the first image in the carousel and making a peace sign. The comedian is seen with 36-year-old Jason in the following picture, and Townsend and Mahomes are seen in a lounge area in the final one. The post was titled Kansas City by Townsend. Travis appeared earlier in the day at his annual fundraiser event, which benefits his 87 and running foundation, along with his parents, Donna and Ed Kelsey, Jason and Kylie, and Patrick and Brittany Mahomes. Townsend shared a photo of himself with Jason and Kylie Kelsey with the caption Go Birds on his Instagram stories. Travis revealed what would make him happy during his birthday celebrations while he was speaking on stage. Maybe we should go win on Monday night? What do you think? Are you all up for that? Referring to the Chiefs game against the New Orleans Saints at Arrowhead Stadium on Monday, October 7th, he said to the jubilant crowd, Another Super Bowl, if you've got one, is what Travis wants for his birthday this year, he told people exclusively. In his first three games of the season, Travis struggled to maintain his usual stats, blaming it on not really getting a lot of opportunities to make plays. Travis rushed for 89 yards in the Chiefs' thrilling road victory over the Los Angeles Chargers in Week 4, more than in any of his previous three games. Travis made his acting debut recently on Ryan Murphy's Grotesquerie, where he appeared to play a nurse treating Detective Lois Tryon's husband in a hospital. On the episode on October 2nd, his character revealed that he worked as a male stripper and was a recovering drug addict prior to moving to Alaska.